I'm Chopsicle the Dog, and this is Solving a Rubik's Cube by Buttered Side Down. And Buttered Side Down is one of the funniest filmmakers on the internet. His his videos get like 20 to 100 million views. If you've ever seen the one, there he goes. He's got the Rubik's Cube. But if you've ever seen that video where like the, the giant water balloon like engulfs a city... Um, that's done by this guy. His visual effects are amazing. All right, so here we are. He's taking it home. Did he even pay anybody for it? He just, like, stole the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> well, whatever happens now, he's got it coming because he stole that. <laughs> All right, so he's going to solve it. He's working on it. He's got, got it going a little bit here. All right. Okay. There you go. He got a side. Okay. But he's got to solve more. He's got to solve more sides. There he is working on it. Okay. That's cool, though. I mean, it looks cool. Oh, no. A piece fell off. This is like how I feel when I'm trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how I feel. <laughs> Except it's me smashing it on the floor out of frustration. <laughs> All right. So, oh, now it's a triangle. I forgot about those, the triangle Rubik's cubes. And oh my gosh, I hope that doesn't exist in real life. That would be impossible. Oh, it's like a polygon dog. Oh, and it's coming to life. <laughs> Dude, what'd you do to that dog? It clearly was sentient. Not cool. Not cool. <laughs> so there he is looking it up online. How to solve a Rubik's cube. Step one. Okay, simple turn. Like, they're, the colors aren't in the same spot, so who knows? All right, so turn and twist. Okay, we got it. We got it. Step three, <laughs> use the third hand <laughs> to turn the middle. All right, okay. Step seven, four hands. <laughs> Doing whatever. <laughs> Step 16, okay, we've jumped a few. Telekinesis. He's going to use telekinesis to move it with his mind. And it works. He's actually able to do it. Dude, if you can do that, stop trying to solve the Rubik's Cube and use telekinesis <laughs> to go make like millions of dollars. All right. So now you've ruined your computer that you were using to help you solve the Rubik's Cube. What are you going to do with that? All right. He's got the the processor from his computer. Oh, and he created a robot. It looks like he built it himself. Named it Rubit. Not Rubik or Rubik's, but Rubit because he's a robot. Rubit the robot. And the robot is going to solve it for him. Dude, if you can build a robot again, like put your talents where they should be, like just make robots. <laughs> We're trying to solve Rubik's cubes. <laughs> oh no, it's not going well. Oh, <laughs> I like how he's like not concerned about the robot. He just dives for the Rubik's cube. <laughs> okay, he goes out. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's smashing the tiny cardboard house. <laughs> oh no, now a robot is on the loose. All because he wanted to solve a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> All right. How are you going to solve it? Or are you? Oh, I get it. He throws it off the cliff. So instead of just throwing it in the garbage, he actually throws it off a cliff. <laughs> and here it is. I got a weird feeling about what's going to happen here. Is this thing going to like solve itself on the way down? <laughs> Just randomly bouncing. It is totally. <laughs> Could you imagine if that's what happens? Like we throw away a Rubik's cube in the garbage and then like on its way to, you know, the recycling plant in the garbage truck, it like solves itself as it bounces around. So, you know, if you go to like, the recycling plant or whatever. There's just piles of solved Rubik's cubes. <laughs> and as always, I left a link to the original video in the description.
And I'm Chopsicle the dog. Tell me I'm a good boy by subscribing and liking the video.